What's up? This is GP Sunny Found Motorsports here, and welcome back to another Skyrim video. Um, this is the final part, believe it or not, of uh, of uh, the Sea of Ghosts mod, and basically in this we're just going to head back to Skyrim and see what has changed in our absence because something has changed. I've downloaded another mod. Um, yeah, I can hardly believe it. This is the last episode of the Sea of Ghosts mod. Uh, for now, I may I, I may come back to the Sea of Ghosts mod, like if there's an update later on. Well, it'll be far, far down the road. Um, so yeah, let's just, uh, go ahead and leave. Can't believe we're doing this. Uh, yeah, I may, uh, I may come back, um, uh, yeah, like I said, I may come back later, maybe while I'm not filming, just because I really like this house, I may just come here and just sort of chill, um, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this door, just for good measure. There we go. Now, uh, oh, oh, I thought for a second the world hadn't loaded there. I was like, oh, crap. That wasn't a good feeling. Um, okay, so how, okay, let's just follow this path. Uh, so, uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep the videos from now on under, uh, well, around, not necessarily under 15 minutes in length, because, you know, I got to thinking, 30 minute and 40 minute long episodes just, uh, episodes are just entirely too long, so yeah, this is gonna be around 15 minutes, I'm gonna probably, uh, film about three, three or... Uh, I'm going to film maybe around three or four uh, parts a day, hopefully. And in case you didn't catch it, that guy actually said a uh, bed of boots again. I still don't get it. What on earth is a bed of boots? <laughs> Go figure. And here we are, back in solitude. What a pleasant day. It's night. Hmm. So, oh, what's that? Let's go ahead and... Let's go over there and discover that stone before we actually go to Whiterun. I mean, I just want to explore it and see what it is. There's also a shield over there. Choices, choices, choices. Who's forging? Who's using a forge? There's somebody using a forge. Hmm. Okay, so this stone. What are you? Where are you? Straight ahead. Um, is this here a dragon? I guess one just sort of dragon. I saw movement in the woods over there. Skeever. Oh, Conjo got him. <laughs> I was about to get him too. Uh, okay, so the stone. The apprentice stone. Those under the son of the apprentice recover magicka faster but are more susceptible to magicka damage. You may only have one sign blessing at a time. I'm gonna take it because I don't think I've been under the apprentice before. That's always such a cool effect. Um, so you're over here. 
I think, weren't we? There's some sort of shield or something. Off to... Which side? Off to... Which side? Uh, we're back over here. When we saw it. Because I'm... There it is, straight ahead. And... What is it? Is it a war zone? Because it, it might be, because I've got the war zone's mod installed. A uh, link to that will be in the description. Um, and there's a house. There's a dragon. I hear a dragon roaring in the distance. Whoa, yeah, I'd say. The fuck are you? Excuse my language, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm going to try to clean up my language. Because it is a little bit, uh, it is a little bit ridiculous at times. Cardro got him, hmm. Now what on earth is this? Okay, take Cardro Zero back. Okay, what have we got going on here? Warzone Civil War Shadow of Solitude discovered. Who are you? Quite a staff you have there. I don't see a staff. I used to think so too. See, my grandfather was a wizard. My father wouldn't talk about much. But I found some of his things in the attic, including this staff. After that, I thought I was turning into a wizard too, because dead things near me would come to life again for a while. I even went to the College of Winterhold. They just laughed at me. The magic is in the staff, not in me, they said. Hmm. I think I'll buy the staff. What do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it. In fact, keep it. I must have used up the magic in the staff. Something. It's just a dumb stick of wood now. Staff of Reanimation. Hmm. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. I will shoulder some of your burden. Hmm. I'm gonna give you the Staff of Reanimation. Ah, uh, weapons. Ah. Uh. I was looking under apparel the whole time. <laughs> yeah, staff of reanimation give you that. There you go. What? We follow that. The fuck, Carjo? If anyone sneaks up on us, I will shoulder some of your burden. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take that uh, back. Uh Okay, it's not even showing up in his inventory. What in the world? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... Uh... Get rid of it. Here, you can have the damn thing. There we go. Okay, so, whatever. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah. Um, we are going to uh, Whiterun.
It was back here. Yep. Um. See, there's sort of a there's sort of a problem that I'm experiencing that I'm currently experiencing with my game, and that is basically that White Run doesn't show up. I mean, in the in the map, the icon uh, does not exist. Uh, so I'm going to go to the White Run stables and. We uh we shall uh we shall see how it looks. Yeah, this might actually take a while because there is a lot added in this mod. I mean there's a lot added. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Look at all this. That's quite a lot added. Um, uh, what they're gonna do basically with this mod, uh, and by them, this is the, uh, this is the, um, Immersive Cities mod. And what they're basically going to do with this mod, uh, is. Max and Sue. I don't know how you pronounce the um, pronounce that guy's name, but the two developers. So let's just call them the two developers. Um, and this is something they've already started on. Is what uh, what they're going to do basically is they're going to take the area outside uh, White Run, uh, outside of the interior of White Run, and basically make it into the slums of the city and then the interior is going to be the rich part of town so what is that floating hmm you get that occasionally with mods just floating objects up there that the creators maybe forgot to get rid of and ooh ooh yay I don't know why I'm attacking but Holy cow! <laughs> All the way over there. Ooh, that's uh, that's quite a long range. So what is this? They've added a sh ton, as you can see. Never seen this before. This is definitely new. Wow, this is pretty crazy. Hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm just at a loss for words. This is pretty friggin' spectacular. Um, now there are known issues mainly within the city, um, uh, with uh, with characters having uh, nav mesh problems. So you know, nav mesh basically is the navigation mesh, which characters rely on to guide them from one point to the next. Uh, so, I think there's a shrine of Talos in there that, um, that, uh, people try to path or walk through, and they can't, so they just sort of group around it. And there are a few other minor issues as well, but those will be, uh, yeah, like this kid here, uh, appears to be having a nav mesh problem. But yeah, so, um, so... They're, uh, so they're gonna basically be standing grouped around this, uh, shrine of Talos, if it exists, I'm not entirely sure that it does. We're approaching the 15 minute mark, uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to end off the video in about, uh, 40 seconds. So yeah, feel free to like, uh, comment, subscribe, and, uh, and we'll get into the meat of the mod, which you see here before you. We'll get into the meat of the mod in the next part. So yeah, um, uh, like, comment, subscribe to the video, and if you like what you see on the Skyrim Nexus, then uh, don't forget to th uh, then don't forget to endorse and vote for it, and definitely download it if you think you'd like this. If you think this uh, is your sort of cup of tea. So yeah. 
Uh, links to the mods uh, will be in the description below. GP75 out.